So let's talk about mold inspections from your perspective. What are some things that home inspectors or other mold inspectors do that truly are just wasting customers' money? What are some common things you see that really doesn't give you enough data to work with? It's a great question. So quite often we, uh, we see home inspectors reports that have one or two tests done to a structure. And now everybody that's involved in the, the conversation of either buying or selling a property thinks that we've got a mold problem. The reality is that there is mold everywhere. So if you're not properly sampling and taking the proper amount, you really can't accurately pinpoint where the mold is if it's, uh, if it's a situation that requires professional mitigation. So what I'll see is one or two tests come across my desk that says it, it was swabbed or it was a tape lift or one air sample. And it's just not adequate information to be able to determine if a professional is needed. So what needs to happen is that if the home inspector is doing testing, they should be trained on how to take proper tests they should know how to communicate how many tests are necessary to accurately understand an environment. And if they can't do that, or the consumer doesn't want to pay for it, then to be quite honest with you, it's not worthy of taking one or two samples because it's just not going to tell us anything that we need to know. And so I think that people need to reach out, do their research, because it is expensive to take tests and, and to do the sampling that, that, that's properly, uh, it's necessary for the job. But you know, at the same time, if you're only gonna do one or two, it's not gonna tell us anything and we're gonna have to start all over and then we're gonna waste time and money again. So you're probably also looking for more than just a pass or fail mold test result. Absolutely, because again, with mold being everywhere on the outside of the structure, it's gonna come in in the environment. And if we don't know exactly what's going on, even from room to room, it's very hard to make a determination whether the mold's a problem in that structure or not.